is Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. What a story we have brewing here today, October the 7th, 2018. We have a new storm called Michael. You can just see it in the bottom left-hand corner as I zoom in here. This tropical storm just named a couple of hours ago is going to become Hurricane Michael. And you can tell here that it's going to remain over water today, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, turn into a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico and slam into the USA. The issue, of course, is uh, for me, following cruise ships, what's going to happen with all these cruise ships in this area? Right now, there are 11 cruise ships that are either coming to or going from this place right here, Cozumel, Mexico. And this is where the hurricane is forming as we speak. The beautiful warm waters off of the Yucatan Peninsula and it's just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. The, uh, the direction of the hurricane is north but it's barely moving and therefore it just has time to accumulate strength, gain a lot more power, the rains will become heavier, the winds will become heavier, it's going to be a potential nightmare. We'll have to watch how this plays out. Uh, the ships involved, uh, just to give you an idea how many we're talking about here, Royal Caribbean has two ships in the area this week, La uh, Liberty of the Seas and uh, Brilliance of the Seas. Those are the two that uh, Royal Caribbean has. But for Carnival, they have nine ships that are in this area, and the ships are the Carnival Vista, the uh, Carnival Valor, the Carnival Freedom, the Carnival Sunrise, the Carnival Paradise, the Carnival Glory, the Carnival Sensation, Carnival Fantasy, Carnival Dream. These ships are all either going to be running five or seven day cruises throughout this area of the Caribbean, through the Gulf of Mexico, and they will have to either divert their itineraries, um, perhaps uh, as simple as just change course and move out of the way of the hurricane, uh, or they may have to cancel ports of call and go elsewhere. We haven't heard anything yet from Carnival. We've not heard anything yet from Royal Caribbean. We're waiting to see what these two cruise lines are going to announce to everybody. But I can tell you for sure that the scene that you're going to see right here will not be part of your cruise. If you're on one of these ships, this is not going to happen to you. You're not going to be in this kind of scenario. They're just going to avoid these storms. And they're going to try to take you to a place that's, well kind of like this. This is the kind of seas that uh, Carnival and Royal Caribbean like to take passengers to. It's easy on the crew, easy on the passengers. It keeps them on the uh, pool deck and enjoying themselves and uh, spending lots of money on drinks. Here's the brilliance of the seas. This is exactly what this ship is designed to do. Pull up to a port, relax and do nothing. This is what you want right here. Anyway, we're going to find out the next day or two just what's going on this storm as i say is is growing now it just became a tropical storm the winds just broke the 40 mile an hour level they're going to go up to over 75 miles an hour by the time they get into the gulf and we're going to have to find out what the cruise lines want to do about avoiding this hurricane this is bruce with traveling with bruce join me monday to friday at five o'clock eastern for cruise ship talk every day on my youtube channel saturdays at two if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to stay on top of these stories, subscribe to my channel today. I'll keep you posted on what's going on. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.